Good day, you're welcome to another edition of our class. And today we want to talk about the energizer. Well, um, I think I was having a conversation with somebody who was actually asking a question. I feel it's important I explain this. Now, there's something I want, to, I want us to understand how you troubleshoot this very energizer. For this, this is a Merlin 4 energizer. I think it's the old Merlin 4. So I just want to use this as a demo. Okay, because the question he asked, it was from the platform, he was asking a question. He said he actually got to a site and the energizer was not turning on. He connected it to the socket, not turning on, that he never knew what he could do next. So I think this video will help you a lot. Um, so you know how you troubleshoot your energizer. Okay, let's ride. Now, this, like I said earlier, is a Merlin 4 energizer. Now, this, we understand, is a socket. This one is a plug for charging the energizer. You must understand that right below here, under here, we have a transformer for charging that powers this board. All right? Now, this, this terminal here, this is the terminal that brings AC, like the 15 volt, 14 volt AC, to the board to charge this, uh, to charge that comes through this place to charge the batteries. These are the terminals for the batteries, and there are ways you can troubleshoot. As I worked with the option, I told him yesterday because the energizer was down, so there was no, there was no way he could even confirm using a battery. And I said there are two ways: if you have a new battery, to confirm if it is this charging transformer under here. I'm going to open here but let's just let's just take one at a time now I told him the only thing if you have a new battery take connect a new battery to this uh, energizer if this energizer turns on it means it is from the charging system and which other way do you use it in chair you use to check your charging if the charging uh, system is faulty now I have already on on losing the screws here the screws to the board to this board you have one here another here and one here four screws four sets of screws so they are out and the next thing i want you to do is you can actually use your your multimeter the multimeter to test this so what would you do we turn we turn on our multimeter and this is this part of the multimeter is the part for continuity test you use in testing continuity now if i put this probe together i have to hear a sound from this end. okay okay there's even a lamp that turns on on my own meter let me try suspend this somewhere here okay so what do you have to do here is to take one of this probe and the other come to this case this uh, terminal from the energizer you first read Put one on the left and the other on the right. You see, there's continuity. It's reading. You can actually, I can actually hear the reading. It means this is the, is it the, this, uh, the secondary side is actually reading for the, from the transformer. Now, this is the primary side that comes, that goes into the energizer to charge it. I put my stuff here and I put the other one. Okay, the reading. Now, with what we have here, this is not reading at all. It's not reading at all. It means this and this uh, charging transformer for this energizer is faulty. It ought to. I should get a reading by the time I place my probe here and place the other one here. I should get a reading, but I'm not getting it. Okay, it is. Is it reading? It's not reading. There is no continuity here. You're supposed to hear the beep from it so if i'm having that it means if there's no reading no beep from this part it means this part is faulty by the time you plug i plug this to a socket i see power is not if this board is not is not lit up it ought to light up the board but if it's not lighting up another thing you also need to check is if this is fine and this board is still not coming up check this fuse there's a fuse here the very fuse close to this one this very one check this fuse this fuse might be blown out and i can also test it with my meter now you can hear the beep there's a beep from this it means this fuse is actually working fine it's, it's okay but 
the what's the name the the primary side of my transformer is faulty now all you need to do is to open this one take this one snap this out how you fix it, what you need to do how you can take the transformer out of the board it's actually an old board but um we still have everything how I, I should have losing this but i've removed the set of screw already um so i take this one out yes now there's something i want us to know this this very stuff take a look at this this is a light emitting diode right you have one here and you have another inside here now there are times most times i've seen people when they change this transformer there's this particular errors they make they make this error when they try to fix this this uh, cover back this enclosure back you just notice the other one there they mistakenly push this one out you won't have that contact if i look if you look inside i can actually see the the other one one is the transmitter and the other is a is a is a receiver so you must have this and this they must have that line of contact for them to for for this to even work but if you miss that then it means that would not supply anything you, you start having false alarm the energizer would not work even when the terminal is under the close you close the 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 earth terminal terminal and the, the live terminal you keep getting a uh, false uh, alarm all right let me loosen this so i show you that very part i'm talking about this is out i hope this transformer does not drop because of where it is placed if my drop is going to drop um how do i do this not to drop because i'm actually actually uh it's not uh, let me take the energizer off let me try this way right okay right this is what you have here this is the transformer that charges your board that charges the battery all right i don't want to take this um, okay because of this other one this transformer actually charges the the energizer battery so the primary side of this transformer is faulty from what we've uh, tested earlier so it's a matter of changing this one i'll need to change this one and put a new one so i can actually charge that board so that's how you detect that then why trying to cover this thing maybe this is the city the current transformer this is what charges up the fence so that supplies voltage to the fence so as for this as for this one you see most times you see this is the diode i was talking, uh, I was talking about this uh, light emitting diode you see if this does not match it doesn't go through this hole you notice your energizer would not it won't work well by the time you turn it on it's sorry you say you you ask yourself the question as at the time the only issue i was having with this energizer was it wasn't charging not like the fence wasn't working well but after i changed my transformer this energizer is not working you've actually made a mistake with this this one most time before you cover you see it is bent and when it's bent like this it doesn't pass through this hole you start having that alarm so always ensure this is upright and when you're covering it you make sure you can actually see that diode okay i think i can see it it's there so let me mount this back right i cannot fix those screws if i've changed this transformer i can you take this transformer out you get a new one fix it and by the time you turn it on you start charging the board and don't forget this it's so important make sure this diode is out make sure it's out okay 
Yeah. Okay, my screws are actually correct. Remaining one, okay, this. So, have this back. Always ensure when you try to test your face, um, this might just be um, an extra, extra to this. Make sure these are your life terminal. The two on the on the right hand side, they are looped, and the one on the on the left hand side, they are also looped. Before trying to test this thing, before putting it on, you want to test it to confirm if you are not having the, it co connected to a wear and uh, loop fence. So you must make sure those loop are done now. This this guy must match with this. It must match with this one. So that's it. I'll just have to put this. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Then the terminal for this for the charging comes in. If I've replaced it, put it here. And by the time you turn this on, you see your energizer will come up and start working the battery terminal goes here connect that to the battery and boom working not an explosion right working so this is what you need to understand about your energizer trying to troubleshoot you're having some challenge challenges on uh, turning it on is not turning on and these are the things you just need to know your see your your transformer for charging is 40 and all you need to do is to replace it i hope this this video helps you in sorting most of your challenges and before we call it a day please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we continue to bring you more more and more so that's more updates on all you need to know about electric fence and to meet again in our next class do have a lovely week bye for now the full tech team